Hello everybody and welcome to the Chemistry 121 Supplemental Instruction Series of videos. I'm Joey Smokey and in this episode we're going to be talking about molecular shape. Now molecular shape is divided into two specific things, electron geometry and molecular geometry. Basically it's just how things look in, in a molecule, you know, how the atoms are oriented around the central atom. So in electron geometry, basically you're concerned about the atoms and electron pairs that are floating around a central atom in a molecule. So if you have something in the middle, you know, that's you know, what everything attaches to, the atom in the middle. The electron geometry is concerned about all the electron pairs and all the atoms that are around that central atom. In molecular geometry, it's kind of the same thing, except then you're not worried about the lone pairs. You're just concerned about the atoms that are surrounding the central atom. Now, there's five main kinds of shapes that you're going to want to be familiar with. Tetrahedral, trigonal planar, trigonal pyramidal, bent and linear. So a linear shape is basically where you have two atoms connected to a central atom and basically it just looks like a line therefore it's called linear. In a tetrahedral molecule basically you've got your central atom and you have four other atoms surrounding it but it kinda makes like this cross shape like an X sort of a thing. And by the way, these are all the these are all molecular geometries right now, since we're just talking about atoms surrounding the main, the, you know, the central atom, and we're not concerned about electron pairs yet. So trigonal pyramidal, or excuse me, trigonal planar is the next one we're going to be talking about. So here you're going to have three atoms surrounding the central atom. So basically, it looks like a triangle in a flat form. Now we're going to start talking about two particular shapes: the trigonal pyramidal and the bent one. Now these two do have electron geometry as well as molecular geometry. So in the bent shape it looks kind of like, you know, you know, you have your central atom and then you have two other atoms around it and you have also two electron lone pairs. Now what's happening is that those lone pairs are basically forcing the other two atoms down to kind of make this bent shape. Now molecular wise it looks kind of like, you know, it's linear. You only have two things bonded to the central atom. But in reality, the electron geometry for a bent shape is tetrahedral because you have four things around it, two lone pairs and two atoms. So in the bent shape, it has, you know, a bent molecular geometry, but it has a tetrahedral electron geometry, okay? So make sure you understand the difference between those two. The electron geometry takes into consideration the lone pairs in addition to the atoms around it. Now the next one is trigonal pyramidal. So it's kind of like the trigonal planar one, except you have one lone pair basically above the central atom. So here, again notice, we have four things. So the electron geometry for a trigonal pyramidal molecule is tetrahedral, but the molecular geometry is obviously trigonal pyramidal because that lone pair up on the top there is basically forcing the other three atoms bonded to the central atom away, so it kind of looks like a pyramid, and that's why they call it trigonal pyramidal. So those are the main different shapes that you're going to be concerned with for, the, for chemistry 121. Um, and yeah, just make sure you understand the difference between electron geometry and molecular geometry, and you should be pretty good. So, and make sure you go out there and practice with some different Lewis structures, kind of get used to how to draw things in a tetrahedral shape, and you know, like a bent shape and all that sort of stuff, because that might be something that you'll absolutely see on a test, and you might need to have to know how to do that. So, there you go, molecular shapes.